Okay, so I just showed you how to create very cool 3D extruded text inside of After Effects CSX. And I said that we can also get in and create some 3D shapes inside After Effects as well. And I wanted to show you another way that we can get in. And this is sort of leading into our how to create 3D extruded logos. And you can see that I'm an illustrator. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new document. What I'm going to do is just say File, New. And we'll create it 1280 by 720. I'll just simply say OK. And what I want to do is just to create a star shape here. And we're just going to come from right about the middle here. And I think that's probably pretty good just like that. And I'm just going to fill this star with, uh, let's sort of go with a lime green color. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to come up to File. I'm going to come down to Save a Copy. And let's save this onto the desktop. We'll just call this Star from Illustrator. And I'll just say Save. And what I'm going to do here is we'll save this as a CS6 document. And I'm just going to hide Illustrator. And you'll see that I'm in After Effects right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to press Control and I on Windows, Command and I, obviously, for all my Mac friends out there. And let's import our star from Illustrator. And what most people think the process for doing this is going to be is exactly the same as what we did for 3D extruded text. You'll see as soon as I drop in the Illustrator file, after Effects is the same. We'll hold on. Ray Trace 3D is turned on. So this is everything it enables. This is everything that it disables. I'm going to say OK because we already talked about all that. And what most people think they're going to do is simply just hit the 3D button. They're going to navigate over here. They're going to come down to Geometry Options. The only problem is that we don't have the same options that we had before. Well, you'll remember I said that we're going to talk about a new feature inside After Effects CS6. And this is how we're actually going to get in and create client logos in just a second. But I wanted to lead into it by showing this to you. What we're going to do is we're actually just going to turn off the 3D element on this layer. I'm going to make sure the layer is selected. I'm going to navigate up to Layer. And you're going to notice that I have a new option down towards the bottom called, appropriately enough, Create Shapes from Layers. Because you'll remember I said that we can extrude text and we can extrude shapes. So what I'm going to do is come down and I'm going to create shapes from vector layers. You'll see what's happened is, is that a new layer has been created, in this case in the shape of a star, and the layer that was the actual star from Illustrator has been turned off. And what I can actually do is even just delete that layer. What we're going to do now is we're going to navigate back over. I'm going to turn 3D on. We're going to drop down. We're going to come to Geometry Options. And you're going to see now there's my extrusion depth. And let's set this to be something like, oh, I don't know, about 60. Now what's going to happen is, is that I'm going to come back over. I'm going to hit R on the keyboard on both Mac and Windows. We'll rotate, rotate this element around. The only problem is that I don't actually see the edge here. What, what's going on with that? That's kind of weird. Well, when we're dealing with shapes inside of CS6, especially dealing with extrusion, the stroke plays a huge important role because the stroke is actually the edge of the shape. And you'll see in this case, the stroke is actually set to black. So what we're going to do is we're just going to eye drop that green color. So I'm just going to select my eyedropper. We'll select green. But what I'm going to do instead of selecting the same colors, we're just going to bring this down ever so slightly. I'm simply going to say OK. You'll see now I can rotate this around. Looks pretty good, but doesn't quite look the way I want it to. Why? Well, because I don't have a light in here. Let's press Control, Alt, Shift, and L on Windows. Command, Option, Shift, and L for all my Mac friends out there. And let's add a new light to this composition. There we go. What we're going to do is just select a point light at 100% intensity. I'll say OK. I'll just turn Caps Lock off. And let's move this light over a bit. Let's make sure we're actually selecting the light here. I'll just select the light. Slide the light over a little bit. There we go. And now if I rotate this around, this element looks fantastic. The only thing is, is that our bounding box is getting in the way a little bit. Well, let's adjust that. What I'm going to do is just come down to View Options. I'm going to turn Layer Controls off. I'll simply say OK. And now I can rotate this element around and take a look at this really cool and fantastic 3D element right from Illustrator inside of After Effects CS6. So let's actually get in and create a client logo from what we've learned using the extruded text and the extruded shapes.